got it all ready to put the outer sheet on the sides. Um, you can see my window opening here. On the other side, I've got that framed into the door as well. So that's all ready to get uh, covered. I think I'm going to hit this with a coat of primer. Then I'll be ready for the paint. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention is you might want to pick up a couple of these quick grip clamps. They work really well for uh, when you're working by yourself if you've got to hold one side or the other um, while you're fastening things together. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to get... No, oh, folks, here we go. Got this uh, door skin, the skin on this door here. And uh, went together pretty good. Used to have some old drywall screws I used for the fasteners. See how I've aligned those so when I put the paint over it, looks better when the fasteners are all aligned somewhat, in some sort of pattern. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna go ahead and get this other side going. It'll be a little easier because it's not a door. Just gonna bring a piece of sheathing in and lay it over here, and then draw my lines where I want to make my cuts. Um, <clears throat> what I do on the on the window opening is from the inside, I, I drill a little hole coming out at each corner, and I then I can uh, scribe my lines on that and know where to how to cut that out. So we'll see. I've got one, a little bit. I only had one sheet of that. Uh, it's either quarter inch or it's just some lu luon, birch luon maybe. I'm not sure what it is. Underlayment that you put below like a linoleum floor or what have you. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going. I only have one sh sheet so I might have to piece this side together but that's all right. We're getting a little snow out there. I don't know if you can hear that hitting the top of this greenhouse. It's <clears throat> it's probably 30 outside. It's 40 in here, so makes for 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That is makes for a little nicer work area. And I'm working outside on this the old cub. That's what I'm used to doing. All right. Well, I'm gonna get going on this. Seeing a few. Well, 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 folks, what do we have here? Got that panel on this side of the old Cub Cadet cab. Window cut in, window opening. Piece of plexiglass will go over this when I can afford it. <clears throat> Got this uh, back, a couple of plates on there to cover. Another piece of plexiglass will go around this opening when I afford it working on the, co the cover for this battery box right now this door is all squared away next uh, 
Cut a piece of tin for that roof. I need to get some drip edge on around that first before I measure the size. <clears throat> but I'm going to continue working here until it gets dark. Sorry about the uh, lack of footage on this side. The old batteries don't like this cold weather. Alright folks, I'll catch up with you in a few. Well, 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 look at this folks. This cab looks like it just stepped off the showroom floor. Got the paint on it. But uh, left the interior, the natural wood. I kind of like that look, so that's where I'm going with that. Giving that log cabin feel when I'm driving this thing around. Yeah, this, uh, I just brushed that Cub Cadet yellow on but put a nice protective coating over that thin plywood got this battery box all set up that's going to work nicely hopefully i won't have to use that propane uh, heater to heat the engine block up to start it now i'll have some with this car battery i'll have uh, more cold cranking amps as they say I gotta do one more coat of paint on this little piece here. I ended up making this window opening smaller after the fact, so that way it'll save me a few bucks in the plexiglass. But yeah, I'm already uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this plexiglass piece for the windshield up front setting up here for now. So I'm gonna put that on. It's all pre-drilled. I don't know if you can see this, but I got the hill. I, you got to be careful because this glass breaks really easy. So I've got these holes drilled, and then took a larger drill bit, and so I can countersink the screws a little bit to make them a little flush with the the, the glass. So I've got that all cut out to fit around that front shroud. And then uh, put that on. I've got the drip edge all squared away for the side here, all ready to install. And then I got the metal for the roof ready to go. So I'm going to get that going here shortly. Well, there you go, folks. Got it all attached, even got yellow screws. Those are just inch and a quarter deck screws <clears throat> for putting down decking, but they've got a finish on them, so I figured it'd be better than galvanized screws because they won't rust. But uh, I got that installed, windshield. And like I said, you got to be careful when you're cutting this and uh, drilling it. You don't over tighten these screws because you can crack it real easy so next I'll go on to the roof
Well, there we have it, folks. The drip edge is on. And uh, I had this all pre cut, ready to go. So, just to save a little time on the install. Actually, I installed it and then I wanted to paint underneath it. So, took it back off. Now, I'll put the roof up here. You see, I've got some blocking sitting here. I've got a strobe blade I'm going to install on top of this thing. A caution light. So I've got something to screw that down to. I'm going to put the metal down and uh, <clears throat> we'll go from there. Well, folks, there we have it. Got this metal roof installed. Just some leftover uh, metal from, uh, I got given to me from a friend of mine. I used it on the ends of this greenhouse, and I happen to have a piece that was previously used, so I found one piece that didn't have any previous screw holes drilled into it, so. And then I use these gasket, uh, these screws self-tapping with a, they got a rubber gasket on them. So I think I got enough screws in there to hold that, keep that held down. I don't know, this tractor will do about 90, so I might want to put a few more in. Anyway, now what to do? Just waiting on, uh more glass for this for all the uh, for the two sides in the back save up a few pennies for that also I've got these areas here I'm gonna get a, a piece for for here on each side so I guess we're all ready to install the battery on it I think I'm going to change oil on this old cub while I'm at it here. Yeah, I'll catch up with you folks next time.